Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Phoenix Spring Tarot. So we're doing a reading that's going to be a little bit different from the typical readings that we'd be doing. This reading is into Baba Vanga. I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly. So she was known as the Nostradamus of the Balkans and that she gave world predictions on world events. Um, she passed away 20 years ago. So I knew of her when I was very, very young. And I remember it was always at this time, you know, coming down towards the end of a year, you would always wonder, oh my goodness, what predictions do Baba, does Baba Vanga have for us? Um, she lost her sight. As you can see from the image, she doesn't have any eyes. She lost her sight when she was very young in a storm. And it was through that storm that, you know, even though she lost her physical eyes and the physical sight, she gained another sight, which is her psychic abilities. So for those of you not familiar with her, I suggest you look her up. Some of the predictions that have come through, she predicted the coronavirus back in 1966. You know, she predicted the 9-11 attacks in 1989. She predicted the rise of ISIS. She predicted the 2004 tsunami, Chernobyl, the death of Princess Diana. Um, she predicted Obama, the first black president. Um, and they, I think she predicted Trump as well. But there was something around her predictions of um, the United States presidents because she said Obama or Trump, I believe, would have been the last president. And of course, he's not. We have Biden, but we're going to look into that. So Baba Vinga had done predictions until she did predict, she left behind predictions for every year up to the year 5079, apparently. So, but what was recently released was her predictions for 2024. So what she predicted is that there'd be a series of dark events, including terrorist attacks in Europe, a major economic crisis, biological attacks, an assassination attempt on Putin, a breakthrough of, um, and other medical breakthroughs. So what we're going to be doing in this reading is just looking at her predictions, what is going to come through, whether we can add any detail to her predictions, and just intuitively channel what else is coming up for 2004. Now, in doing research on Baba Vanga, um, one prediction I was given, which I've noted, is... And I don't mean this to alarm anyone. I was just literally streaming and writing these predictions down. But one prediction I was given is that the mark of the beast is here. And the mark of the beast is right in front of our eyes. Um, and he will bring us, and it will bring us into the George Orwellian age. Like the George Orwellian age of 1984 is upon us. The mass numbered of awakened are fighting back. But the beast has placed counter-agent cells in the midst. Like the Lord of the Rings, the Eye of Sauron. I, these read, I'm being told that with that prediction that I just gave, it's as if I'm giving it in the vein of Baba Vanga because I'm in the energies, so I'll just go with it. But as I said at the beginning, I sense this wasn't going to be a typical reading, but let's just go with it. I channel Joshua, Jesus as well. And again, more and more people are being awakened. I did a video on the age of awakening or people become awakening and being illuminated. But however, the prediction I was given here, and the channeled message I was given, is that some people would have, some people with a bright, would have a bright gold light. Oh, sorry, let me start again. The way it was shown to me is that certain people would have a bright light around them, like a really nice, either a white light, a gold light, illuminating their aura while other people remain in the darkness. So while I was, I had my eyes closed and I was channeling, they showed me an image of the earth and they showed me an image of illuminated people, illuminated human beings, and then they showed patches of darkness in between. Um, many prophets have spoken about this before, including Dolores Cannon. Experience your divine I am presence on earth, connect with the power to heal. People will be connecting with their divine I am presence. People in 2024 are going to start connecting with their power to heal themselves, healing the inflammation in their joints, healing their gut, which is the trigger, which is triggered by trauma and past life trapped energies wanting release. Okay, so let's get into this. Those are the messages I had to so spirit guides, guardian angels of the highest light frequency. Please protect myself, protect those viewing this reading, protect and bless those viewing this reading. May we only channel messages of the highest light frequency and vibration. 
Please open up our site and connection with our higher selves, whoever may want to come in at this point, to give us insight, other insights into what's happening in 2024 and insights into the Baba Vanga predictions. Okay. One thing that's really interesting is as a... Um, one thing the coronavirus did to us in that even, they're showing me this, I'm channeling messages now. Oh God, okay. I feel I'm doing so much talking, but for goodness sake, they're asking me to explain to you guys that even though I've stopped shuffling, I'm channeling and, okay, it's a thing. But anyway, what they're showing me is that in, even though the coronavirus asked people to isolate and separate, it's as if that isolation and separation awakened a connection on a deeper level amongst humanity. And it's as if through the coronavirus, that seed was born. And going into 2024 with this world card, it's as if that seed, it's as if the trauma and the events that are happening, like the events, um, the Israeli-Palestinian event and other events coming up that are happening, it's as if those events would be like water for this seed of connectedness that we all have as a collective. That's what they're showing me with this world card here. And again, they're telling me about this mark of the beast. Now, I have to say, I don't know what this mark is, but apparently it's right in front of us and it's going to become more prominent to the world. It's, it's as if it's always been there in the background. They're telling me something about media and mass media because they're telling me you've talked about it before and it's the brainwashing of mass media. It's as if that is going to come to the forefront much more. People have been talking about it and they've given me the phrase propaganda, but it's as if something's going to happen in 2004 where they can't hide anymore, like they've played their hand. They're showing me it's whoever's controlling the media. It's like they're going to step forward and we're going to see them. It's like there's someone we're going to see that's going to be stepping forward. And the aim is to control the world and to control humanity. Something is going to happen in 2004. It's like, with the mass awakening that's happening at the moment, it's as if whoever the mark of the beast is would need to come forward earlier than they would have come forward before. It's someone who is the puppet master behind the media, behind the government, behind the politicians. It's like they're going to step forward. Okay. Yep. This is the thing. Um, should I should I take this? Okay, this will come up again. But it's with that two of cups. It's as if they have the media, the governments, all in their pocket. Celebrities all in their pocket. They have given me an image of certain celebrities who may come out and may say things. And what you would notice is these celebrities coming back and retracting their statements. And like doing a complete U-turn on what they were saying before. It's as if for your very survival is going to count on, but maybe know the story of the Mark of the Beast and that survival. Anything else? Regarding the Israel-Palestinian conflict, because I, I've been asked to do an update on my last reading and I haven't. So they're taking me there now. These, I guess, are the hostages and their families who have been released. So we're seeing that with the Ten of Cups. Anything else? Okay, they're telling me I need to do another reading on it. Okay, they're telling me I need to go into a separate reading on it, but this war, this conflict, is going to end really soon, if it hasn't ended already. It's as if, dare I say Hamas to the Palestinians, however you choose to say it, are going to walk away from this. And notice this person stepping over land, like they are... 
there was going to be a renegotiation of land happening here. But there is going to be a celebration over this. Okay, so there's going to be a clear winner in this. It's, I'm seeing the end to this, whether it's in eight weeks, eight months. But there is an end in sight to it in terms of gaining the upper hand. Someone is going to gain a very clear upper hand in this. This is not going to be similar to a Ukraine situation. This is going to end pretty quickly. Now, in terms of defining, oh gosh, I said I, was, I wasn't going to dwell on this war, but they're still giving me messages. So while I'm here, I might as well. In terms of how you define winning this war, there we go. Um, this is that peace treaty or peace negotiations that's going to be announced soon. Okay, I'm just going to say this. There are no winners here in this, okay? Israel, because this is what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing Hamas and Palestinians backing down. I'm seeing Israel coming out and getting what they want and being able to defeat. They have the superior army. They have the superior force. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing some sort of truce or some sort of contract negotiation. Not the truce that we have now. I'm seeing something else. In fact, with this, with this truce that's been called... There is something that Israel is doing, the Israelis are doing behind the scenes that they haven't announced to the public that would that have enabled them to get the release of their hostages and that would put them in a the position of taking the lead on calling this truce or something. There's something I'm seeing, I'm seeing as if we are distracted by this thing here, but like Israel is going behind there. And then I'm not saying what Israel is doing is illegal or anything like that. All I'm saying is that we are not aware of what's going on behind the scenes. There is some negotiation going on behind the scenes here. Hamas hasn't even released it. It's almost as if Israel and Hamas have been negotiating behind the scenes. And like it hasn't been released or something. Yeah. What is that? Because it's like they're talking behind clothes. Oh, what is that? What is, oh my God, this is meant to be a Baba Finger reading. Oh, for goodness sake. How about we, we go back to Baba Finger? I'm just intrigued. I want to know what this is. Oh, negotiations have started. Negotiations have started. They've started. Yeah, negotiations have started. However, what I would say about this is it's very early days, it's very temperamental, it's very up and down. There's nothing solid here, nothing solid at all. It's very, very early stages, nothing solid. However, what I would say with this is, and I'm just going to state it, and I'll do another reading on this, but there are battles and wars. So what I'm being sure is that Israel have won the battle, but it's as if the Palestinians and Hamas have won the war. I'm just going to leave it at that because in terms of people who are going to be, it's as if, yeah, I, I'm going to leave it at that. Okay, let's go to Baba Finger because that's what this reading is about and I don't want to dwell too much on other stuff. Okay. Um, so major terrorist attack in Europe is one of Baba Finger's predictions. Let me see whether that will come through. Major terrorist attack in Europe, major economic crisis, biological attacks, assassination of Putin, and medical breakthroughs. Seeing. 
there is an increasing distance between the powers that be, government, those in authority, and the people, is what I'm picking up. Increasingly with the nine of wands, people are going to begin to, people have started recognizing this already. We're going to recognize and see this more next year, that the government are not there for the people, is what I'm picking up on. Yeah. I think Baba Finger is talking about terrorist attacks. With the death card, what I'm seeing though is I'm seeing more protests. There could very well be terrorist attacks, but I'll expand that out and I'll say protests with people wanting to throw over governments or people directly challenging governments and directly challenging the status quo. That's what I'm seeing coming through here. Um, major economic crisis. Oh yeah, that is coming for sure. That is coming for sure. Whether they're able to reduce taxation or not would be interesting to see. But I am seeing across the world, actually. Yeah, there we go. I am seeing that. At least I'm seeing, so the economic crisis for sure, but I'm particularly seeing as well. There are certain, it's as if, you know, we had the banks closing down or shutting down in the States. It's something similar to that that I'm seeing here, where certain, expect a huge financial institution, whether it's over here in Europe or over in the States, to close their doors and this could potentially send shock waves um, to the rest of the world. Because with the strength card here, it's definitely talking about a turbulent 2024. 2024 and monies is going to be hella turbulent. They would claim that they're reducing taxes to increase spending but that's not going to be the case. They're going to be going through the back door and increasing taxes elsewhere, which people are going to find very hard to manage. So that's not going to be completely true at all. What else regarding this economic crisis? This is going to come seemingly out of the blue. This economic crisis is something that I'm picking up on as well. What spirit guides are advising here is really be careful about spending. This year, be careful about spending. And whatever you guys, sorry, I just need to put in a code for something. Whatever you guys can do to really ensure that you all are stabilized and safe and so on, they're advising to do. So don't do, 2024 is not a time to do any extraneous spending or any um, superfluous spending. It's really a time of consolidating assets, consolidating your monies. I'm hearing something about interest rates as well. Yeah. It's going to be a time of real turbulence and uncertainty as well, economically. 
if there's a second job or something like that that you can get they're advising to do that anything that could give you and provide you with some sort of stability do the reason why i'm saying this instead of because I remember once, um, last time at the end of the, when Biden was elected, I predicted the war in Ukraine and I predicted the high increase in prices. And I remember at the time I was so taken aback by that reading that I got my house in order. So that by the time the war in Ukraine started, by the time gas prices went up and so on, I was sitting pretty and I was basically, you know, it didn't affect me at all because I had took my reading seriously and I put things in place. So hence they're giving me that suggestion for you guys to do that as well. Okay. China and Taiwan, they're leading me here. No, China and the States actually. China, the States and Taiwan, okay. is coming through a lot of the commentary you guys are seeing because a lot of people are putting information out there about the states china and taiwan and a lot of what they are focusing on is incorrect in terms of people in the states like the what the media or what even commentators on youtube the impression they give about china's position is incorrect I'm giving the phrase, yeah, that's what I'm saying. China is the emperor here. This is what I mean by being incorrect. China is coming through as the emperor. We have, from 2000, 2024 onwards, China is going to get, become, is going to increase status and it's going to be evident that they are the world leaders. They have been working behind the scenes at this for decades. And finally, from 2024, they're going to start stepping on the world stage. Um, is what I'm picking up here. I'm very sorry to say this, but they're giving me an image of Biden, just looking tired, looking lost, looking haggard. And a lot of, they're bringing me to Baba Binga's prediction about Trump or Obama being the last president. Oh no, please don't take me back here. When she says being the last president, she's talking about, with the Ace of Cups I'm seeing, she's talking about the last true president that was for you know when presidents were presidential let's just put it that way where they were really for the country um and they were about the country it's apparently it biden or trump was the, was the last time that happened basically so that is what baba venga i'm picking up more means by the last president let me just see if there's anything else to that. And again, I'm picking up Trump just looking really tired and haggard. Yeah, five of hazards. It's like that's the state of America now. It's, it's either the state of America now or what's coming. And they're drawing me like certain cities in the states definitely look like this now. They're giving me the image of the Roman Empire as I'm saying this. They're giving me something about a natural disaster in the States, but to hit the States next year, there'll be a series of them actually. And those towns that are going to be hit is as if they never recover. And again, it's, I'm, I'm sorry guys, and I know I labor this point and I've been consistent with this for two to three years, the fish rots from the head. Like you see a president that's at the head and he's just, Haggard, he's tired, he's... All messages are alleged until proven fact in this reading. I should have said that before. But it's not only in terms of Biden being haggard. It's that the eyes were taken off the ball as well, is another thing. 
I'm being shown. There is going to be, whether it's a terrorist attack or a biological attack, one out of those two is going to go down. Fire. It's like, yeah, there we go. Here we go. Here we go again. Here we go again. The last time I did a reading on Biden's presidency, I talked about this. I talked about Eight of Swords. There is some outbreak of war happening. When I predicted the Ukraine war, this is the card that I got. We have to expect this again. And we have that next to judgment. There is something that, and I, and I said this from the very beginning under Biden's watch. This is what's going to be happening. There is a disease, you know that disease in China to do with the lungs? That's coming through here as well. They're trying, it's not really in the news right now, but there's like an outbreak in China that's affecting the lungs, that's affecting children, apparently at the moment. Give me something about that. Give us more information about that. They're going to choose to deal with that situation a different way. Yeah, there's something about this situation. They're not showing me at the moment. But you do see like a hospital bed and graves, like with the moon, that there's something about that, that they're not showing me right now. Whether there's going to be some sort of other precaution that takes place, whether it's another lockdown, Yeah, we'll see. But there's something about that at the moment that's um, being kept in the hush-hush. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Whether it's another lockdown or something with the hermit energy. But they're going to, with the magician, they're going to try and find a new way of... Um, spinning that situation so they don't give the same whether it's a private lockdown or something not sure but there's something different they're going to do about it or whether they claim that they found a cure and they haven't found a cure or they're letting you know there is a cure, but there really is not. It's something about that lungs thing that's happening in China at the moment. Whether they shut it down on social media or they do a cover up on it. To give people some false sense of security. Okay, Baba Venga, what else? Assassination of Putin. Okay, so we did Baba Venga's terrorist attack. We did her major economic crisis. Some other messages came out regarding China. Putin. Hmm. I'm not sure about this Baba Venga reading, you know. I think I should have just done my own 2024. In terms of this assassination attempt on Putin, I'm not really seeing that here. No, I'm not seeing it. I am not seeing it. Even if someone did attempt something, I'm seeing the magician here and the three of wands. It would just be a story. I'm not seeing it to the cards. I'm not to say that it may not happen, but the assassination attempt on Vladimir Putin in 2024, it could potentially be a story that's put out there. 
but I'm not seeing it. There's a war with Ukraine, so I'm sure that they're going to try or they're going to say that they've done it out of propaganda. But at this point in time, I'm not immediately seeing it. It could be a story with the magician because we have two ones with the magician and the ace. It could be a story, but it's not anything that I'm immediately seeing. What I am seeing, however, with the three of wands is discussion about borders and moving borders. And what I am seeing, though, is I feel that someone may be coming in to help. Yeah, there we go with the eight of wands to help negotiate borders with Ukraine to end the war. I am seeing that. That I'm seeing. Whether we know about it or not remains to be seen, but that's one thing that I am seeing. The borders with Ukraine and negotiating um, something that could appease both sides and stopping the war. Yep, we have the sun there. That, that's what I'm seeing. And I'm seeing someone with the magician coming in and doing that as well, helping to bring both sides to the table to discuss that. It looks as if it was a political body. Yeah. All right. Um... Anything else that we just want to add? Anything else that we want to add? Nope, there isn't anything else regarding Baba Venga. I don't think this is from Baba Finger, but this is just not I'm saying the messages were from her. They were just messages in the vein, like some of Baba Finger's predictions as to whether they will come through or not. But very lastly, to wrap this up, what I am getting with Death and Ace of Pentacles is um, a lot of the values, cultural attachments and socializations that we once had, I am seeing a lot of those dying and passing away. And people really connecting to their own authenticity, to that power of self, to that power of their voice. People taking ownership and control as to how they want to make a living. You know, instead of working this nine to five, you know, being more creative around that. I am picking up on that from a social perspective. Yeah. Okay. So that was Baba Vinga's 2024 predictions, where we looked at what's going to come through, what's not going to come through. That said, I don't think I have any more regarding that. She has a very unique energy, or at least her predictions had a very unique energy. Oh, this is the first time I've sat in um another psychic's energy it's very odd it's like you know when you jump in a car and you're used to driving on one side of the road and you go to another country and they have another set of rules on the side of the road you're meant to drive and you know it, it, it's that it's a bit disorienting so this is i think the first and last time i'm going to do i'm not going to do a national harvest that's for sure <laughs> <laughs> because I was thinking about that. No, I, I'm, I'm just going to leave their predictions to them, I think, moving forward. <laughs> All right, guys, um, let me know what you think down below. And I will be doing my own predictions for 2024 and that sort of thing in my own energy, I feel. I think I need to do not this again, but I'll do follow-up readings. Okay, guys, bye for now.